Hi there, Raj from Refined here, and in this video I'll give you a quick demo of Refined for Confluence Cloud. Refined is a site building tool. On cloud, it's deployed as a SaaS, and this integrates with Confluence Cloud. This allows you to create customized and themed refined sites that present content from your Confluence Cloud spaces. You can pick and choose exactly which spaces to include on any given refined site. Some of the common use cases for Refined for Confluence Cloud include intranets, but also documentation sites and other forms of knowledge management sites, among others. Refined sites offer three key aspects that help bring your Confluence content to life. The first of these is the top level navigation menu. Using Refined, you can easily create an easy to use top navigation menu like this one on each of your refined sites and you can choose to group together related spaces in the navigation as needed. Each site has a theme on it. The themes are created in our easy to use in product theme editor. A theme applied to a site will be shown on all items within that site, unless you specifically change it for selected items. For each item added into the site, you also get a landing page on the refined site. We call these layouts. The layouts are customizable to your needs and your liking, and you can choose what content to show on these using building blocks called modules. Refined aim for a low-code or no-code approach with both the theme, the layouts, and also the site structuring. The goal is to enable users to create great-looking sites without being designers or programmers themselves. Let's now take a look at the top navigation menu and how this is built. So for this, I need to go into the site builder And in here, you can choose yourself how complex or how simple to make the site navigation. The content and structure added here directly reflects what your navigation will look like. In my example, I have a team's parent item, a product sub item to that, and some sub items to product. And then I have IT again as a sub item to teams and a couple of elements under that. And you can see here in my top navigation, that's exactly what I get. So again, you can make this as complex or as simple as you like by nesting content under each other or simply having your, your main content in the, the parent level. Let's take a deeper look at what you can do with the layouts on the landing pages. As mentioned, these are built using what we call modules. So if I go in here, I can add a section. In the section, I can add columns. And then within each of these, I can add modules or I can also have one module in a section on its own. We have static modules. These are the ones that are here at the top that say navigation. And these combine, these are used for navigation purposes. They combine images, links, and text and present these to the end user. They're useful for navigation purposes, as the name suggests, and they present the end user with clickable options to visit different parts of the site or different links. It can be external or internal links. And then we have dynamic modules. These are picking up content from Confluence, and the admin can configure the parameters on each of these to show what content is shown. For example, you can take the activity stream module, and then you can decide to filter down on a label or a space, or even use advanced CQL and show activity based on a particular query here. These modules are useful for keeping the site updated with the latest and relevant content as per what is in Confluence. On this landing page here, I have a combination of the static navigation modules, and I also have some dynamic modules picking pages and activity from Confluence. Refined for Confluence also contains features in place that allow you to reach your audience in an effective way and communicate information efficiently hopefully eliminating the need for tons of emails. If we go into admin mode again and audience features, there's an announcement banner feature here. And what you can do with this is quickly and easily configure a great way to, na to communicate rather information that your users need to see. So I will go ahead and publish this announcement banner about upcoming downtime, save that. And if I go back to my site and refresh, now I have, right at the top, a very visible banner communicating this downtime in an easy and, and eye-catching way. 
Information can also be easily communicated in the form of blogs from Confluence, and for this we have a module called the News Module that can be used on one or several layouts to show blogs in a visual and easy-to-use format. Here I have one example with company news showing different blog posts based on the company news filter. There's also the option to create dedicated landing pages for news, and I have an example of this here. What I've done here is used that same module, set it up four different times with four different filters on it, and also use two different view modes. So we have the image slider for the top ones, uh, and then we have the content feed for the bottom ones. And of course, these will be dynamically updated when new blogs are added into Confluence, depending of course on the filters you've set on them. So one aspect that's useful to note here is that the Confluence content is being created and edited on the native Confluence Cloud UI and then pre being presented on the Refine side. So Refine is a presentation layer. The editing doesn't happen in our UI. For users that do have create or edit rights, we have some shortcuts here in place. So either they can click this pen or click or hit E rather to edit the page directly in the Confluence Cloud UI, or they can also create a child page to this page by using this shortcut C. The flexibility afforded by refined sites doesn't stop there. You likely have different spaces for different purposes on the same Confluence. It could be some spaces that are more oriented towards teams and onboarding, others for documentation and knowledge sharing. With refined, you can take this to the next level by creating separate refined sites here in the Sites tab and just adding a new site. Each of these sites will have its own customization options, as mentioned. And on each of these sites, you can also pick exactly what spaces to add to each site. You can meet several use cases in independent sites in this way, all powered by the same Confluence instance. I hope this demo has been useful for you. Please feel free to reach out to us over at support.refine.com if you have any more questions for us, or check out our documentation over at docs.refine.com.